JFT, just fair and direct. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to JFD's Daily Market Review for January the 28th. I am Harald Lambos Pissuros, Head of Research here at JFD, and I will talk about yesterday's mid-market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds to read the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar traded uh, higher against all the other major currencies on Thursday during the Asian session Friday. It gained the most versus JPY, the Euro and the Swiss franc in that order, while it lost the least ground versus the British pound and the Canadian dollar. Now, despite a, sh a, excuse me, despite a searching dollar, the yen, and the yen and the franc were the main losers, while, while the pound and the loonie performed relatively better than others, which suggests uh, that uh, market anxiety eased somehow. Indeed, turning our gaze to the equity world, we see that uh, major European indices uh, traded in the green, and although Wall Street closed largely in the red, some Asian indices enjoyed decent, uh, decent gains today. Now, with no clear catalyst behind the relative improvement in investors' appetite, we believe that the fundamental outlook remains the same as yesterday, and thus we are reluctant to alter our view. European shares may have rebounded due to, a barga due to bargain hunters stepping into the action, while uh, the gains we saw today in Asia may have been the result of Apple's impressive earnings yesterday after the, after the closing bell of the US session. However, by no means this is an indication that participants scaled back their bets over aggressive tightening by the Fed. After all, Wall Street traded, uh, Wall Street traded lower even after data showed that the US GDP for the fourth quarter grew 6.9% quarter over quarter seasonally adjusted annual rate. In our view, investors may have abandoned US equities just because of that. Strong economic performance adds credence to the Fed's view of a March hike and perhaps a faster subsequent rate path uh, than indicated in uh, December's dot plot. Indeed, according to the Fed Fat Futures, we see that market uh, participants are pricing in slightly more than four quarter point hikes by the end of the year. Remember that the December dot plot uh, suggested only um, only three. Therefore, we stick to our guns that equities could turn uh, south again, especially the US ones, and that the US dollar could continue marching north. European shares may not suffer that uh, much, as uh, there is a decent likelihood of the ECB, uh, of the ECB refraining from uh, lifting rates um, uh, this year. Now, as for today's events, we have we only have the U.S. personal income and spending rates for December, alongside the core PCE index for the month. Personal income is expected to have accelerated uh, somewhat, but spending is forecast to have declined. No forecast is available for the core PCE index yet. So that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the Weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 8 o'clock AM GMT. You can find the link in the description below. So, goodbye, have a great day, a greater weekend, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again uh, next week. JFT, just fair and direct.